All right, so it's the peak of summer and that means it's stone fruit season. So what I wanted to see is that what is the best place to get fruit? I've bought the same fruit from three different places. So first I have Sprouts, a grocery store chain. Then I have Whole Foods. And lastly, I went to a farm stand. So I have two fruits. I have an apricot and a peach, which should be in season at this time. So I want to taste them and see which one's the best. Rank them at the end, give them tasting notes and see if there's a difference. First, we'll start with Sprouts. So let's just start with the apricot first. This is a solid apricot. I mean, yeah, that's a good apricot. It's like still firm and still full of flavor. So it's like perfectly ripe. So, so far I'd say I would definitely buy this apricot right now in season. Yeah, it's not too juicy, but it has enough in it that it's, it tastes really good. Well, let's try the, want to just go down the apricot line and do it. Yeah, okay. do All right, so then we have a Whole Foods one. This one's also just about as firm. It's got a little bit different of a flavor. It's, it's not as sweet. Yeah. And it's definitely not as juicy as the Sprouts one. Yeah. I think that apricot is a little bit more sour. So maybe it was just like a slightly bit under ripened, maybe a day or two would have gotten a little bit better. But in general, I think the Sprouts one was better than the Whole Foods one because it was like ready to go. I picked them, I went to the store today, got them at the exact same time. So the, this one was juicier. This one was a little bit more sour, I would say. But neither of them were like that kind of mealy mushiness that you can get from like mm -hmm. stone fruit if it's been sitting too long and never really ripened correctly. So now let's try the uh, farm stand one. So this one looked a little bit bigger, just in overall size. It's got a nice balance of flavor. It's definitely like the strongest flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice, like, again, they're all kind of the same firmness, which is good because they're right in season. And it's got really good flavor to it. It's not mealy. So it's got all the positives you want of an apricot. Ranking the apricots from the different places we got them, First, I would probably say the farm stand one is the best. I think it has the strongest, like, right level of flavor. The second, I would say, is Sprouts. And third was Whole Foods. What do you think? Yeah, I would say the farm stand and then close by would be surprisingly the Sprouts one. That one actually had a good amount of flavor and juice to it. Um, sadly, the Whole Foods one came in last. Um, it just was lacking a lot of flavor. Um, and a lot of juice, so it was kind of more on that dry texture. All right, so now we'll try the Sprouts one. The only difference I will say between the Sprouts peach and the other two is that this one is just a yellow peach and the other two were Palisade peaches. So these two are like the identical variety, but they didn't have a Palisade peach. So this is the closest I could get that's in season. So we'll start with that one. That's really good. I thought when I picked this one up that it was too firm. It was not going to be ripe enough. So I was a little worried, but no, this is a, like, I almost say like nearly perfect peach. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got good peach flavor. It's nice and firm, but also like, as you bite into it, it just kind of melts. And it's not that like, again, it, like the big thing you can find with bad stone fruit, especially if it's like past its ripeness is like mealiness. Mm -hmm. This does not have that. Yeah, this one is very juicy. Even when we were cutting into it, and a lot of juice everywhere, so it was very good. Except for the Whole Foods. So again, these are the Palisade peaches. I think, truthfully, with these ones, uh, of this one specifically, it's good. I think it just maybe needed one or two more days to be perfectly ripe, which is natural with stone fruit. And so that's why, like, the inside of this one is a little bit, like, harder and crunchy. But the outside that's still, which is the ripest part, is still pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still has a good level of sweetness to it um, and a fair amount of juice in it. So yeah, if it just had another day or so, it probably have been, been even better for taste. Yeah, but I would say it's still a good peach. I just think, again, we'll just wait one or two days. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, so these are the one, this is the peach from the farm stand. Same variety as the Whole Foods one. This one has the exact same problem mm -hmm. as the Whole Foods one. It may just be that it's it needs another day or two to be perfectly ripe, um, but the flavor is right there. It's just a little on the crunchy side. Yeah, this one's definitely more crunchy than the Whole Food one, and way more crunchy than the Sprouts one. Yeah. So I think for me, for the peaches, I think in this case, I think the Sprouts 
was the perfectly ripe peach. And so I think that was the best one. And I'd say like these two are nearly identical, but I think the whole food one was like slightly better. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that they would be good in a day or two. But I still think that this one was the best flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this one definitely had the most flavor to it and it was more juicy. So it was a really ripe peach. So I think what we've kind of learned, and I know this isn't like a perfect study, but I think that you can get pretty good fruit at the grocery store, um, especially when it's in season right now. Stone fruit can be a little challenging just because they do need a day or two to ripen after they've been picked. Uh, and like, for the example, like these ones came because they're local, they came just from like the farm. So they just needed a day or two. But I think overall, yeah, I think you can get them. You just have to kind of be in season. Uh, so that's kind of what I feel. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. So. And then for our final taste tester. Okay, for our official taste tester, who's never had these before. Oh, do we have a second one? Do you want to come, bud? You gonna sit? Is he in the frame? No? Okay. So you want to try? You want to try the peach? That one good? You want more? Nope. Last one. Is that good? Good job. Hope you found something useful in this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see any other peach content, click the video on the screen right now. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.